I, I've seen automotive tier lists, but I've never seen an automotive political compass. So somebody should do it. Gen Z especially is just not liking cars as much as they should. They're actually actively hating cars, which is something that's really, that's, I don't think any generation has really done that before. I think it's just because cars haven't been personified for them. Like they don't have a connection to cars as much. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to apply some human qualities to cars. To me, a car means you're an adult. The fact that Gen Z isn't really as into cars, that's like a failure to launch to me. That is like a, not everybody can afford a car, so it's considered like a wealthy thing. But I think we're getting to the point where now transit is considered to be like a wealthy thing. And cars are actually being relegated to the lower end of the economic scale. And it's, it's because people live in them now, like poor people live in their cars, right? It's the only asset we can really afford anymore. I've laid down a base of cars in the Overton window here that I think people would be familiar with. I, representing social democracy or democratic socialism, whatever, is this Volvo 200. Boxy Swedish brick it comes from a socially democratic country. Every person in a Subaru seems to take it upon themselves to police the speed limits. Uh, so I, that's why I have to put it in that position there. The Ford Taurus, this is like the everyman kind of car back in the 80s. They don't make these anymore, but this was at, at a time, this was a very popular car. And it was very like futuristic back in the day. This was almost like a, the Tesla Model 3 of the 80s. Old Mercedes are normally driven by autistic men. And autistic men are pretty based. So I'm going to put it there. This is a Russian Lada. This was made in the Soviet Union. This was a car that they kept the same for 40 or 50 years. You had to be able to both drive this car drunk and fix it drunk. So it was very rudimentary, very simple. I had to wait like 10 years to get one because it had to be at the fair for everybody, right? They sold them in Canada for a bit, but all of them actually got repatriated to Russia. This Chevy Cruze, this is a car that is exclusively driven by teenage incels. Particularly in the Midwest, it seems really popular, I guess because it's an American car. I don't know why, you've, why your parents always picked a Chevy Cruze, but they, they seem to a lot. People get an idea of where I think an automated light rapid transit system lands on here. Uh, this is the, this is the SkyTrain from Vancouver. I put this in kind of the far right, uh, up, upper authoritarian right, because it's driverless. So there's no labor. There's no labor disruption. It's very 1984. The Ford F-150. This is the most. This is the best-selling vehicle uh, in Canada and the United States. This represents freedom to me. Obviously, it represents like a very free market kind of freedom because nobody's going to tell. Somebody wants to use a lot of fuel, pay a lot of money to drive this big vehicle around, who am I to stop them? Who am I to stop them? I, I think I think Milton Friedman would agree with me on that. I'm going to leave that one there. So Toyota Supra, I know you guys know this one. This seems to be the only car that you guys are actually aware of. Higher up than the Skytrain? No, definitely not. But it's, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, Toyota Tacoma. It screams professional managerial class. It's somebody who works like a white collar office job and lives in the city, but drives this. This is what I think of when I think of this truck. Uh, I put it kind of, I'm gonna put it actually right kind of next to the Supra. Toyota Tacoma drivers are pretty insufferable people, to be honest. I love the Toyota Tacoma, but like, honestly, I, I hate the people that own them. <laughs> Honda Element. This car is, every time we, the automakers try to make a car that appeals to the youth, you know, the youth, it always ends up appealing more to like old granola eating people. Volkswagen Type 1 sedan. Mobilize Hitler's population kind of right in here. I don't think it's as authoritarian as an automated transit system, but it's it, it's up there. These are a car people might not see in America, but in Canada, especially on the West Coast, we see these a lot. These things have to go right in here between the Element and the Mercedes. Because anything diesel, like anything that you can convert to run on like used vegetable oil, that's got a sob. This, this is also a car that was made in a democratic socialist country, Sweden as well. Sobs are driven by like architects and like really kind of scratchy brain people, kind of like a little bit pompous maybe even. I just think that that's where it should go. I just think it looks good there and it fits. So I'm going to put it there. Volkswagen Golf. This is driven by like dumb girls in college. Dumb college girls drove these that were also rich. Uh, a Jeep Wrangler. This to me is pretty... This to me occupies a similar position to the Tacoma, but a little bit more on the authority because they made these as like a, as like an army vehicle, right? That's what they were for. So it's gonna go neck, almost pretty much neck and neck with the Skytrain. Mobilizing troops, mobilizing labor, whatever. Same thing.
This is what Father McCullough drove. This is what, when I asked JJ what car his dad specifically drove when he was a kid, this is the car that he said. It's a Renault Le Car. It's a French car. They didn't make it for very long, but it's quite strange. So I have to imagine that whoever created JJ. Cutlass Sierra, I put this in here for fun. This is just very, very generic 80s car. This, it's freedom to choose because they made this car in like Pontiac, Buick, Oldsmobile, Chevy. You could get whatever one you wanted. There's the same car. It's the same car really. It just depends on what sign you want on the front. Choice is good and free markets are good and GM definitely doesn't get bailed out by the government ever. So let me know where you would put this stuff because I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to changing things around, but I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna lock this in for now. I think this is, I also don't think anybody else would do this besides me.